Candace Bergen, an accomplished actress, first gained recognition in the late 1960s. She started her career as a model, appearing on the covers of high-profile magazines like Vogue and Time. However, it was her acting talent that truly set her apart. In 1972, Bergen received an Academy Award nomination for her role in the film The Wind and The Lion. She continued to make a name for herself in Hollywood, appearing in numerous films throughout the 1970s and 1980s. But it was her role as the sharp-witted reporter, Murphy Brown, that truly catapulted Bergen to stardom. The show, which aired from 1988 to 1998, earned Bergen five Emmy Awards for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series. Bergen's impact on the entertainment industry extends beyond her own work. She has paved the way for future generations of actresses, proving that women can be just as successful and respected in the industry as their male counterparts. Despite her many accomplishments, Bergen remains humble and dedicated to her craft. She continues to act in film and television and has even lent her voice to animated projects. Through her work, Bergen has proven herself to be a true icon in the world of entertainment. Candace Bergen is a highly respected actress known for her work in both film and television. You might have watched her in Murphy Brown, where she played a sharp, witty news anchor. Or perhaps you've seen her in movies like Groundhog Day or Miss Congeniality. Do you have a cherished memory associated with Candace Bergen? Can you recall the first work of hers that you watched? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. There are many interesting facts about this classic star. For instance, did you know that she started her career as a model? Or that she's also an accomplished photographer and author? Throughout her career, Bergen has shown her range and versatility as an actress. From comedic roles to more serious ones, she has captivated audiences and left a lasting impact. Keep watching to learn more funny, shocking, and sad facts about Candace Bergen role. What stories and memories do you have of this iconic actress? Share them in the comments below. Candace Bergen was born in New York City to a family deeply rooted in the entertainment industry. Her father, Edgar Bergen, was a renowned ventriloquist and radio personality, while her mother, Frances Bergen, was a model. Growing up, Bergen was exposed to the world of show business at a young age. She often accompanied her father to his performances and developed an interest in acting. As a child, Bergen attended the prestigious Catherine Gibbs Secretarial School, where she gained skills in typing and shorthand. However, her passion for acting never wavered. After graduating, she began modeling and appeared on the covers of several magazines, including Vogue and Time. In the late 1960s, Bergen transitioned to acting and appeared in several films, including The Group and Carnal Knowledge. Her early exposure to the entertainment industry and the influence of her father played a significant role in her career. Bergen once stated, My father was a great storyteller, and I think that's where I got my love for acting. Bergen's career continued to flourish throughout the 1970s and 1980s. She starred in several films, including Starting Over and Gandhi, and earned critical acclaim for her performances. In 1988, she landed the role of Murphy Brown in the hit television show of the same name. The show became a cultural phenomenon and solidified Bergen's status as a talented actress. Throughout her career, Bergen has worked with several influential directors and actors, including Mike Nichols, Richard Attenborough, and Diane Keaton. These collaborations have helped shape her career and solidify her place in Hollywood. In recent years, Bergen has continued to act in films and television shows, including Book Club and The Big Bang Theory. Her contributions to the entertainment industry have left a lasting impact, and she continues to inspire aspiring actors today. Candace Bergen was born on May 9, 1946, in Beverly Hills, California. She is the only child of Edgar Bergen, a famous ventriloquist, and Frances Bergen, a model. Bergen's early life was unconventional, with her father's career often taking center stage. As a child, she would accompany her father to his performances and even appeared on his radio show. Bergen's family background exposed her to the entertainment industry at a young age, sparking her interest in acting. However, she initially pursued a career in photography, studying at the University of Pennsylvania. It was only after a chance encounter with a photographer from Vogue that she decided to try acting. Bergen's acting career took off in the late 1960s with her debut in the film The Group. She quickly gained recognition for her talent 
and versatility, appearing in a range of films and television shows. Her early roles included appearances in Carnal Knowledge, Brewster McCloud, and Soldier Blue. In the 1970s, Bergen transitioned to television, starring in the popular sitcom Murphy Brown. The show, which aired from 1988 to 1998, earned Bergen five Emmy Awards for her portrayal of the titular character. The show tackled relevant social issues and cemented Bergen's status as a talented and respected actress. Bergen's career has spanned over five decades, with notable roles in films such as Gandhi, Miss Congeniality, and Sex in the City. She has also returned to television with appearances in Boston Legal and Book Club. Throughout her career, Bergen has been recognized for her contributions to the entertainment industry. She has been nominated for numerous awards, including Emmys, Golden Globes, and Screen Actors Guild Awards. Her talent and versatility have made her a beloved figure in Hollywood, and her impact on the industry is still felt today. From a young age, Candace Bergen showed a keen interest in the world of film. The daughter of renowned ventriloquist Edgar Bergen, she was exposed to the entertainment industry at a tender age. However, it was during her time at the University of Pennsylvania when she first discovered her passion for acting. While studying art history, she was approached by a photographer who asked to take her picture for a magazine. This chance encounter led to a successful modeling career, which in turn piqued her interest in acting. She began taking acting classes and appeared in several off-Broadway productions. Her big break came in 1966 when she was cast in the film The Group. From there, she went on to appear in numerous films, including Carnal Knowledge, Starting Over, and Gandhi. Her portrayal of political journalist Murphy Brown in the television show of the same name earned her five Emmy Awards and a Golden Globe. Despite her success, Bergen remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She once said, I've always felt that my job is to serve the film, to be in the service of the film, and to serve the other actors in the film. Her unwavering commitment to her craft and her ability to bring complex characters to life have cemented her place as a classic actress in Hollywood. Candace Bergen, born on a Thursday evening in 1946, has had an impressive career in the entertainment industry. She starred in her own show, Candace Bergen, and her father, Edgar Bergen, made a guest appearance on his own show, Edgar Bergenal. Interestingly, they are the only parent and child to each make appearances on their respective series. One of Bergen's notable film roles was in Gandhi, where she portrayed Margaret Burke White. The film boasted an impressive cast, including four Oscar winners and four Oscar nominees. Bergen's performance alongside esteemed colleagues such as Sir Ben Kingsley, Sir John Gielgud, and Sir John Mills further solidified her status as a talented actress. In Gandhi, Bergen showcased her ability to embody complex characters, contributing to the film's critical acclaim. Her portrayal of Burke White resonated with audiences and left a lasting impact on the film's success. Candace Bergen, a highly respected actress, faced numerous challenges early in her career. Born in 1946 to a prominent family, Bergen's path to success was not without obstacles. Financial struggles were a significant hurdle for the actress. Despite her family's affluence, Bergen's parents decided to disinherit her, leaving her to make her own way in the world. This forced her to find work and support herself even before embarking on her acting journey. Industry skepticism also posed a considerable challenge for Bergenroll as a young, inexperienced actress. She struggled to find roles and gain recognition in the competitive world of Hollywood. However, Bergen's resilience and determination helped her overcome these obstacles. To make ends meet, Bergen took on various jobs, including modeling and working as a journalist. These experiences not only provided her with financial stability, but also honed her skills and expanded her horizons. In terms of industry skepticism, Bergen used her unique perspective and talent to create opportunities for herself. She took on roles that challenged her and showcased her versatility, eventually earning the respect and admiration of her peers and audiences alike. Bergen's ability to adapt and find creative solutions to the challenges she faced is a testament to her strength and determination. Her resilience and perseverance continue to inspire and pave the way for aspiring actresses today. After the end of Murphy Brown in 1998, CBS approached Candace Bergen to join 60 Minutes as a full-time correspondent. However, Bergen declined the offer as she wanted to continue acting and felt it would be a conflict of interest to act 
and be a journalist simultaneously. Interestingly, actor Charles Grodin had done commentary pieces for 60 Minutes too a few years later, but he was on a hiatus from acting at the time. In addition to her television career, Bergen also admitted to dating a young Donald Trump in the past, describing him as a handsome douchebag in an interview on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. More recently, Bergen became a grandmother for the first time at the age of 74 when her daughter, Chloe Mal, gave birth to a son named Arthur Louis Albert in May 2020. This classic actress continues to make an impact in the entertainment industry and in the lives of those around her. Candace Bergen's career has been dotted with breakthrough moments, each leaving an indelible mark in the world of entertainment. In the early stages, her striking beauty and undeniable talent caught the eye of prominent directors, leading to notable film appearances. Her role in The Sand Pebbles, alongside Steve McQueen, showcased her ability to hold her own among seasoned actors. The film's director, Robert Wise, praised Bergen's unusual poise and self-assurance that set her apart from other newcomers. However, it was her role in the groundbreaking film starting over that truly catapulted Bergen into the limelight. Portraying a strong, independent woman, she received an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress, solidifying her status as a serious actress. The actress's transition to television was equally successful. Murphy Brown, a sitcom that aired from 1988 to 1998, brought Bergen four Emmy Awards for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series. The show tackled relevant social issues, and Bergen's portrayal of a single, career-driven woman resonated with audiences. Critics lauded Bergen's ability to balance humor and drama, with the New York Times noting her combination of wit, poise, and self-deprecation. The show's impact transcended the small screen, with politicians and pundits debating the character's decision to become a single mother, leading to a memorable moment when then-Vice President Dan Keel criticized the storyline. In recent years, Bergen has continued to make her mark in film and television with notable roles in Bride Wars and the revival of Murphy Brown. Her contributions to the entertainment industry remain cherished and her breakthrough moments serve as a testament to her enduring talent and versatility. Candace Bergen, an accomplished actress, had a unique experience while filming The Adventures in Bite the Bullet. She rode her own Arabian horse, named Herschel, in both films. Candace Bergen's artistic vision is a reflection of her unique experiences and worldview. As an accomplished actress, she has demonstrated a remarkable ability to bring complex characters to life, often imbuing them with a relatable humanity. Bergen's approach to her work is characterized by her dedication to authenticity and her willingness to take on diverse roles, from the sharp-witted journalist Murphy Brown in the eponymous TV show to the poised and elegant wife of an art dealer in the film Carnal Knowledge. Bergen's personal experiences have undoubtedly influenced her work. Growing up in a family of prominent figures in the entertainment industry, she was exposed to the world of acting from a young age. However, she initially pursued a career in photography before transitioning to acting. This background in visual storytelling has informed her approach to acting, allowing her to bring a unique perspective to her roles. One of the most notable aspects of Bergen's style is her ability to balance comedy and drama. In Murphy Brown, she deftly navigated the show's satirical take on current events while also exploring the personal struggles of her character. Similarly, in the film Starting Over, she demonstrated her comedic timing while also delivering a nuanced performance as a woman navigating the complexities of divorce. Bergen's worldview is also reflected in her work. She has been outspoken about her feminist beliefs and has often used her platform to advocate for women's rights. Her portrayal of the titular character in Murphy Brown, a successful and independent woman, was a powerful representation of female empowerment. In conclusion, Candace Bergen's artistic vision is a unique blend of her personal experiences, worldview, and dedication to authenticity. Her ability to balance comedy and drama, as well as her advocacy for women's rights, have made her a beloved and respected figure in the entertainment industry. In the 1970s, actress Candace Bergen shared the screen with Gene Hackman in three films. The first was The Hunting Party, where they had limited scenes together. However, Bergen has credited Hackman for teaching her valuable lessons about film acting during their collaborations. The other films were The Domino Principle and Bite the Bullet, the latter being more acclaimed. Later, Bergen's portrayal of Murphy Brown in the eponymous show earned her five Emmy Awards. 
Interestingly, she declined all future nominations for the role. This decision showcases her humility and underscores her appreciation for the accolades she had already received. Additionally, Bergen has worked with various notable co-stars throughout her career. For instance, she appeared alongside William Shatner in Miss Congeniality, a comedy released in 2000. They also share the screen in Boston Legal, a popular legal drama series. In summary, Candace Bergen's career has been marked by significant collaborations and memorable roles. From her early films with Gene Hackman to her iconic portrayal of Murphy Brown, and her work with William Shatner, Bergen's contributions to the world of film and television continue to resonate with audiences. Candace Bergen, an actress of immense talent, first gained recognition in the late 1960s. Her impact and influence on the film and television industry have been significant. According to film critic Pauline Kael, Bergen brought a new kind of sophistication and sexiness to the screen. In the 1970s, Bergen transitioned from film to television, starring in the classic sitcom Murphy Brown, which ran for 10 seasons. The show's creator, Diane English, praised Bergen's ability to balance comedy and drama, stating, Candace had this incredible gift of making us laugh, and then, in the next moment, making us cry. Bergen's portrayal of the tough, career-driven journalist, Murphy Brown, challenged traditional gender roles and expectations. The character's decision to become a single mother, even sparking a national debate, with then-Vice President Dan Keel criticizing the storyline. However, Bergen stood by the show's decision, stating, We weren't trying to make a political statement, but we weren't going to shy away from the issue either. Bergen's influence extends beyond her own roles. Actress Jennifer Aniston has cited Bergen as an inspiration, praising her timeless talent and fearless approach to comedy. Aniston stated, Candace Bergen proved that women could be funny, strong, and successful, all while being true to themselves. In recent years, Bergen has continued to leave her mark on the industry, with notable roles in Book Club and the revival of Murphy Brown. Her contributions and influence serve as a testament to her enduring talent and impact on the film and television industry. As film historian Molly Haskell puts it, Candace Bergen is not just an actress, she's an institution. Candace Bergen, an accomplished actress, also pursued photography and photojournalism. Her brief but memorable appearance as Margaret Burke White in the biopic Gandhi demonstrated her versatility. Bergen's close friendship with Ali Makra is another aspect of her life, showcasing her approachable and friendly nature. In addition to her acting career, Bergen played a significant role as a mentor to Faith Ford. Their professional relationship highlights Bergen's dedication to fostering the growth of upcoming talents in the industry. Through these diverse experiences, Candace Bergen has left an indelible mark in the world of entertainment. Candace Bergen, the accomplished actress, is known for her work in both film and television. However, her life extends beyond the camera, revealing a woman of depth and compassion. Bergen's personal values and interests often intertwine with her professional pursuits. For instance, she has been a longtime advocate for women's rights and gender equality. This passion is evident in her work, as she has often chosen roles that challenge traditional gender norms and stereotypes. In addition to her advocacy work, Bergen is also deeply committed to philanthropy. She has been involved with various charitable organizations over the years, including the American Cancer Society and the Elizabeth Glaser Pediatric AIDS Foundation. Bergen has also been a vocal supporter of animal rights and has worked with organizations such as the ASPCA to promote animal welfare. One of Bergen's most notable philanthropic efforts is her work with the Children's Defense Fund. She has been a board member of the organization for many years and has been actively involved in its efforts to promote child welfare and advocate for policies that benefit children and families. Bergen's personal interests also include art, literature, and travel. She is an avid art collector and has been known to incorporate her love of art into her work, often choosing roles in films and TV shows that feature art prominently. Bergen is also a published author, having written several books on topics ranging from her experiences as a mother to her thoughts on aging and beauty. In her free time, Bergen enjoys traveling and exploring new cultures. She has visited many countries around the world and has a particular fondness for France, where she has owned a home for many years. Overall, Bergen's personal values and interests have greatly informed her work and her philanthropic efforts. 
She is a woman of substance and depth with a deep commitment to making the world a better place. Candace Bergen shares a close friendship with fellow actress Christine Kaufman. The two have likely spent countless hours on set, at industry events, and in private conversations, forming a bond that extends beyond their professional lives. Among Bergen's many accomplishments is her membership in the Five Timers Club, an elite group of individuals who have hosted Saturday Night Live at least five times. This esteemed club includes notable names such as Alec Baldwin, Steve Martin, Tom Hanks, and Tina Fey, among others. Bergen's five appearances on SNL have solidified her place in television history. In addition to her own achievements, Bergen has connections to other notable figures through family ties. She is the ex-sister-in-law of Dorothy Lyman and sister-in-law of Vincent Mall, expanding her network within the entertainment industry. As we reflect on Bergen's career and personal life, it's clear that she has made a significant impact in the world of film and television. Her friendships, accomplishments, and family connections speak to her enduring influence and the respect she has earned from her peers. Candace Bergen, an accomplished actress, has left an indelible mark in the film and television industry. With a career spanning over five decades, she has demonstrated her versatility in various genres, from comedy to drama. Her iconic role in the classic sitcom Murphy Brown earned her multiple Emmy Awards and a Golden Globe. In films like Starting Over and Gandhi, Bergen showcased her dramatic prowess, earning an Academy Award nomination for the former. Her work in Boston Legal further solidified her status as a formidable actress. When asked about her advice for aspiring professionals, Bergen emphasized the importance of resilience and adaptability. She once said, in this business, you have to be able to take a punch and get back up. She also highlighted the value of continuous learning and staying true to oneself, stating, always be open to learning and growing, but never compromise your values or integrity for a role. As for her future contributions, Bergen continues to work in the industry, exploring new opportunities and challenging herself in various projects. She has expressed her interest in producing and mentoring young talents, aiming to contribute to the industry's future by fostering new voices and perspectives. In conclusion, Candace Bergen's legacy in the film and television industry is a testament to her enduring talent and adaptability. Her advice for aspiring professionals underscores the importance of resilience, continuous learning, and staying true to oneself in a challenging and ever-evolving industry. Candace Bergen is well known for her portrayal of the news anchor Murphy Brown in the show of the same name. In a memorable crossover episode, Bergen appeared on the hit sitcom Seinfeld as an actor, while Jerry Seinfeld and Larry David returned the favor by appearing on the show Love and War, where they received a Seinfeld script that featured Kramer sleeping with Elaine, echoing Elaine's own experience writing a Murphy Brown script in that episode. In addition to her work on television, Bergen has also shared the screen with Meg Ryan in two separate films, Rich and Famous in 1981, and The Women in 2008, playing Ryan's mother in both. Bergen has been married to New York real estate magnate Marshall Rose since 2000. Candace Bergen's journey in the entertainment industry has been nothing short of inspiring. From her early days as a model to her breakthrough role in the film Mike Nichols's Carnal Knowledge, her passion for storytelling has always shone through. She continued to innovate and push boundaries, becoming the first woman to host Saturday Night Live and earning numerous accolades for her work on the classic sitcom Murphy Brown. Throughout her career, Bergen has shown an incredible ability to take on diverse roles and make them her own. Her performances have resonated with audiences and left a lasting impact on the industry. Even in the face of challenges and setbacks, she has persevered and continued to create memorable and impactful work. Bergen's story is a powerful reminder of the importance of creativity and perseverance. Her journey serves as a testament to the fact that with hard work and dedication, anyone can make their mark on the world and leave a lasting legacy. So the next time you're faced with a challenge or feeling uncertain, take a page from Candace Bergen's book and keep pushing forward. The power of creativity and perseverance can take you to great heights. Candace Bergen's heritage is a mix of Swedish, German, and English. Her paternal grandparents were from Sweden, specifically Vannaberga, Vinslo, and Radla, Stoby and Skane. On her mother's side, she has German and English ancestry. This diverse background may have contributed to her ability to connect with various roles throughout her career. 
The actress Sherry Hewson has named Bergen as one of her favorites, highlighting her impact on the industry. Despite this recognition, Bergen's academic journey took an unexpected turn when she was kicked out of the University of Pennsylvania for failing two subjects. She admitted to struggling with an 8M class, specifically art, which ultimately led to her departure from the university. This anecdote shows that even successful individuals can face setbacks and challenges in their lives. Moving forward, Bergen's career in acting continued to flourish, and her work has left a lasting impact on both her peers and audiences alike. Her story serves as a reminder that success is not always a linear path and that everyone faces obstacles along the way. In the film The Domino Principle, a vehicle accident caused cinematographer Fred J. Konecamp to be injured when a truck's door flew open and hit him while he was looking into a low camera. Fortunately, the rubber edges of the camera's viewfinder cushioned the blow to his eyes, but he sustained a concussion and required six stitches, unable to complete working on the picture. Veteran Lencer Ernest Laszlo took over for him. In April 2022, the actress became a grandmother for the second time when her daughter Chloe Mal gave birth to a daughter, Alice Mal Albert. At 75 years old, this new role added to her family life. Going back in time, June Allison revealed in her biography that she had saved young Candace Bergen from drowning in a family swimming pool during a party. This act of heroism highlights the actress's fortunate rescue and the bond between the two. In summary, the actress's life has been filled with significant moments, from her film career to personal life, and even being saved from drowning in her youth. In the film Carnal Knowledge, the actress, Candace Bergen, plays the character Susan alongside other accomplished actors who have been nominated for or won Oscars. The cast includes Jack Nicholson and Rita Moreno, both Oscar winners, as well as Anne Margaret, Carol Kane, and the actress herself, all of whom have been nominated for Oscars. Moving on to another Western film, The Hunting Party, the actress takes on the role of Melissa Ruger. This movie is known for its extreme brutality, much like the previous Western that the actress starred in, Soldier Blue, which was released just a year before. Apart from her acting career, the actress is also an equestrian and has a love for horses. This passion for riding is just one of the many facets of her life outside of acting. In summary, Candace Bergen is an accomplished actress who has worked with other notable actors in films such as Carnal Knowledge and The Hunting Party. She has also proven her versatility by taking on roles in Western films known for their brutality. Additionally, her love for horses highlights her multifaceted personality beyond her acting career. Candace Bergen, known for her memorable roles in film and television, had a star teaming with Gene Hackman in The Domino Principle. This was their third and final film together, following Bite the Bullet and The Hunting Party. Interestingly, Bergen had also applied for the role of Juliet Capulet in the 1968 adaptation of Romeo and Juliet. Beyond her acting skills, Bergen has a unique talent for languages. She is fluent in French, which she likely acquired during her upbringing, as her father was a diplomat. In The Domino Principle, Bergen played the character of Ellie, showcasing her ability to take on diverse roles. Her fluency in French added depth to her character and likely enriched her acting in the film. It's always fascinating to learn about the additional talents that actors bring to their roles, and Bergen's language skills are just one example. Her ability to speak French fluently is yet another testament to her versatility as an actress. The film remains a classic, and Bergen's performance is still remembered today. Her contributions to the world of film and television continue to resonate with audiences, and her talent and skill are undeniable. Candace Bergen made history as the first female host of Saturday Night Live, and the first person to host the show for a second and fifth time. Interestingly, she was also considered for the role of Faye Dunaway in The Thomas Crown Affair. Her journey to stardom began when Sidney Lumet noticed her in a Revlon advertisement, where she was holding a leopard print pillow, not a real leopard as Lumet initially thought. This encounter led to her role in the group, launching her acting career. Despite not getting the part in The Thomas Crown Affair, Bergen's talent and determination led her to become a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. Meanwhile, Drew Barrymore has also joined the ranks of five-time SNL hosts, starting at the young age of seven. In summary, Candace Bergen's contributions to the entertainment industry are noteworthy, from her groundbreaking hosting gigs on SNL to her memorable performances in various films and television shows. 
Her story serves as a reminder of the importance of seizing opportunities and persisting in the face of setbacks. Candace Bergen, the accomplished actress, has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. With a career spanning over five decades, she has captivated audiences through her versatile roles in both film and television. In the world of cinema, Bergen has graced the silver screen in classics such as Mike Nichols' Carnal Knowledge and The Wind and The Lion. Her portrayal of the tenacious reporter Murphy Brown in the television series of the same name resonated with many and solidified her status as a beloved figure in the industry. Throughout her career, Bergen has been celebrated for her comedic timing and dramatic depth, making her a true icon in the entertainment industry. Her work continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. Let's take a moment to celebrate this classic actress and her enduring legacy. Share your thoughts on Candace Bergen's work and impact in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going and celebrate the creative spirits that shape entertainment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the talented individuals who have left their mark on the entertainment industry.